Hey guys, Caleb here at KP Productions, and for today's video, I'm going to be giving a short little my thoughts on the new Gundam Requiem for Vengeance show that just released yesterday, October 17th, on Netflix. So, spoiler warning if anyone hasn't watched the show yet, I will be talking about some things that might be very spoilerish for people, but um, let's go ahead and get into it. So yes, I have watched all six episodes of the show. Um, and I don't know how to feel about it. I really liked the CGI. It's a CGI show, of course. So it feels very, uh, when it comes to the people, uh, the actual characters in the show, it seems very outdated, the CGI style. My, I don't know if it's just a delay when I was watching it or something, but a lot of times, a lot of the audio did not match up, or all the dialogue did not match up with how the characters' mouths were moving. Um, the dialogue, however, the dialogue I always, I thought was pretty good throughout the show. Just, big thing, it did not match what the characters' mouths were moving like. So, um, in that aspect, the show was not amazing. Uh, the story itself was okay. I think the ending was very... It was a little goofy. Um, it wasn't amazing. I liked it, but it definitely should have been better. Um, the ending was very abrupt, very quick, and I don't know how to feel about it, really. Um, big thing about this video, though, is I want to talk about the mobile suits specifically. I, um, I could care less about the lore of Gundam. I love Gundam. I've been a Gundam fan for about a year now. First show I watched was Iron Blooded Orphans, but now I've watched a lot of, you know, UC timeline. I've watched, you know, the original show of, you know, I haven't watched, fully watched Zeta or Double Zeta, but I'm in Unicorn, Charge Counter Attack. Um, I've watched Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt's one of my favorites. 0080 were in the pocket in the 8th MS team. Two of my favorite shows from Gundam. Uh, 0080 probably is my favorite Gundam show. <coughs> But, this is probably also one of my favorite Gundam shows now, because the fighting in that is portrayed in the show, I think, is very, very good. The CGI might not have done the people justice, but the CGI really did do the mechs justice. So, I have almost all the mobile suits that you see here in the show loaded up, and I'm just going to give a talk about them each a little bit uh mainly first here are the zakus they are of course the zaku 2s um i love them personally i really like these zaku styles uh, of course these are the red wolf brigade or red wolf uh, squad i don't know how, what they're considered the squatter um but they are the protagonists i guess of this show of course there's the unforces so they're not the good guys technically but i Love these, uh, these Zaku styles. Um, uh, I like the realistic look of them. The CGI really does a good, like, realistic view of them. I really like this one specifically because of that spiked shield, and I, uh, I've always loved the anti-ship rifle that, of course, was first seen in Gundam Origin with, uh, of course, with, um, uh, the Red Comet and the other mobile suit, other uh, Zakus that were used there. Um, I love this one specifically, but then later in the show, of course, <laughs> all of these guys get taken out. I mean, this is LaShawn's. He, his gets taken out, but he's still alive. Um, Chubbs and Kale get taken out, unfortunately, because uh, I really like <laughs> this Zaku. But we get to see what I think is the best Zaku design ever because I myself am a very big fan of conventionalizing warfare. So, um, as a World War II guy, it's, I've always been obsessed with World War II and learning more about it. I love seeing these military practices shown in shows like this. They, these Zakus were not able to hold their own against the, um, the RX-78 EX, um, beam rifle so they threw treads on it something that was seen a lot during world war ii tanks had not enough armor so they threw sandbags concrete tread or extra treads not only for the fact that treads of course are useful for tanks in case their treads get destroyed but also for extra armor 
it just adds just a little bit more protection to make you feel a little better about yourself and about the vehicle you're driving. And I love the use of it here in the Zaku Solari type. I don't, I don't know. I just, I love it a lot. Um, the double shield design also is really interesting. The fact of when the first, the top shield gets taken off, the bottom shield has uh, the rocket pods on them. I think that's really good. I think that was really cool. I love that they have the the ankle missile things that um, is seen in like the original um, high grade Zaku two from the show from the original Gundam show the um, the older version of the Zaku two the high grade the before we got the revive um, the F type um, I love that on there on and it's on both of them I oh, know it's never mind it's not on this one it's not on this version of them but he has it on no he doesn't never mind I was wrong. Anyways, um, this one too, he has his extra arm shield, which I really want a model kit of. I love that extra arm shield with the tank treads on it. I think it looks amazing. Um, these Zaku designs are what I think are amazing about the show. Um, and then, beloved Goof Custom. Goof Custom, of course, is like the staple mobile suit from the 8th MS team. Uh... There's a whole squad of them in this show, which I think is a little strange because, of course, Eight the Mess Team, it's the Goof Custom. It's a customized variant of the Goof. Um, I don't know how this would fit into the story-wise, but uh, very, very beautiful-looking mobile suits. The big thing, though, about this show is the sound design. The sound design is not amazing. These mm, Gatling guns, or the mini guns on the Goof Custom, does not sound good does not sound like it should. It's like a very slow fire rate sounding for a minigun. Now, the minigun that is on the RX-78, it sounds amazing. It sounds like a minigun should. The Goof Custom does not. <laughs> so, that's the only, that's a really bad thing about the Goof. Uh, I just talked last thing, the, the, the Zaku Tank. I really want a mo uh, model kit of this. I liked this a lot, the style of just putting a Zaku Tank the top part, half of a Zaku, on a tank body, on a Magella tank body. That's just really interesting to me. I like that a lot. Um, there's not really much else to say. They're pretty basic. Um, now, my, I'll talk about my main gripes here in a second, but I want to talk about the assault gun tank. It's beautiful. It's very much just a variation of the style of gun tank that we see in Origin, and I love this style. I mean, the, the, uh, the casemate style gun that's used for artillery and regular like mobile suit combat. I think that's great. I like the look of this a lot and I love that they have the tread. Same with this, they have the, the tread, or the, not the tread, the scoop that you can deploy to make sure your vehicle doesn't move as much when you're firing. That's something that artillery pieces in real life use. Um, big thing around where I live, there is a National Guard Armory that has the M55 self-propelled howitzer. And, you know, that's a self-propelled howitzer. They have these. This is a really cool. I like that they implement these actual things that are in real life into these, you know, very futuristic mobile suit designs. Okay. Now, on to my biggest gripes of this show. I really liked the, the style of the Earth Federation Forces mobile suits, specifically the gym and the, the uh, ARC-78. But it, it's also just kind of... Uh, Kind of underwhelming, honestly. Uh, of course, this is the high grade version, but they're small. <laughs> they should not be small, I don't think. I understand that it's supposed to be a reconnaissance, a light version, light armored version of the RX seventy eight. But it seems the the size and the design of it, the design and the size doesn't mix well. I think it should be a little, just a little bit more chunky. I would expect this to be more like the uh, the ground Gundam that is seen in the some or the. 8th MS team, that's why I said 7th, 8th MS team, but it very much does portray the white devil very well, um, a lot of armor, I mean, in the show, it takes a lot of damage that I really wouldn't think would be possible because of how small it is, but it takes a lot of damage and it's perfectly fine, the GM, on the other hand, I, <sighs> very mixed opinions of i think the design's really interesting but it's way too thin it is so tiny in terms of like 
that that waist area the arms are so small there's no there's none of the big shoulder pauldrons that you see on the the gms that you're used to if it was just a little more bulky up towards the top this would have been perfect the legs they are perfectly bulky the shoulders though they are not amazing the shoulders and the waist area those upper arms if they were just a little bit more bulky that would have been perfect also i'm not really used to seeing uh, EFGF, Earth Federation Ground Forces, on some on a GM that is not the Ground GM. Ground GM is my absolute favorite GM of all time, and I really think they should have had a Ground GM style instead of the Basic GM, which I understand Basic GM, it was used a lot, but I love, I personally would have thought that the Ground GM would have probably fit in a little better just with the style of show that this is. So overall, the show's great. If you just want to turn your brain off and watch a good action show and not have to think about the lore of Gundam. Uh, but if you really do care about the audio and stuff, then you probably won't like this show. Because the people, like I said, the people CGI, not amazing. The mobile suits, though, amazing. I am specifically Xeon suits. I am in love with the Xeon suits. They are all very nice designs uh the federation federation best federation designs i think the assault gun tank the gm it's good could be better the rx78 it's good could be better but if you just want to turn your brain off not think about anything else in gundam and watch this show i definitely recommend it it's very good in that way also another one i couldn't find the zaku one the zaku one is in there I love the Zaku one. That's one of my favorite mobile suits. I don't have a model kit of it, unfortunately. But the Zaku one, like I said, one of my favorite mobile suits. And it's in the show for, like, the last episode. That's really all you see it, though. But I couldn't find an image of it, so, yeah. Uh, but, and it is also designed very well. Uh, but, yeah. That's my thoughts and a slight review. Uh, I would give the show, if I had to, I would give the show a probably... 6 set 6.57 out of 10 uh just it it needs to be better uh, it could have been so much better but what we got was okay and i'm perfectly fine with okay i liked it a lot um so yeah that's really all i have to say about this show um it was it was okay it was good i thought it was good could be better for the for most people really definitely think it could be better but I like it, so I can't complain at all. I cannot. It's very good. <laughs> I was gonna say good and great. It's very good. I liked it. The mobile suit battles, very good. Just they need to get that people CGI down a little better. Um, and honestly, hope there is a another show like this because there's also there's the MSA glue that came on but that came up before this. Never watched MSA glue, uh, and it's also CGI. So yeah, um, that's my thoughts. Definitely give it a watch if you just want a good action show uh if you care more about the lore and stuff of gundam uh it might not definitely you definitely probably won't like it that much because they they skip over some things like the colony drop they don't even talk about it they talk talk about a lot of things so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all in the next one